tutorials in this video i am going to show you how pagination works in angular so pagination is one of the basic features of any web application because when the data becomes very large then it's uh, uh, not possible to show on a single page so for that purpose we use pagination so that uh, user uh, can navigate and see the record uh, one by one okay so let's see with example at how we can create pagination in angular so first let's create one project so in my d drive d drive It asked me routing then CD pagination NPM. Oh, before that, we need to install this uh, library NPM install NGX pagination. We will use this one. Okay, so now NPM start. NPM start. Okay, so now let's uh, run this application. In the meantime, let's open Visual Studio Code. So let's go here, then close folder, open folder. D drive angular class then pg nation this one so first thing that we need to do let's open this app module and import this pagination module okay and also HTTP client module import import HTT HTTP client HTTP client module HTTP client module from Angular HTTP and now let's import this here in import section and uh, this one as well so these modules we need to install first and import here now we will go to app component .ts file and before that let's uh, uh, here bootstrap uh, cdn just import this one as well bootstrap cdn just copy from here and then let's paste into index.html here before here that's it now let's create a service called users so the command is ng generate service users and in service file in this this one we will import here two module http client and observable and let's open this there is a prefix api you can use this for testing purpose okay so I will take one from here. So let's write here. Endpoint. So this is post list. If you want to see what is inside this, we will pass here private HTTP 
HTTP client this one okay and uh, here let's create a function called get all posts so this function will fetch complete details complete list of users from this endpoint okay now let's get back to app component dot ts app component dot ts here so first thing that we need to let's import here import uh, what's name our service name user service right so user service from uh, user service so that's the first thing in here we will write like this so post any so here is post any then page number so it will start from one and page count starting count is zero table size 10 so each page it will show 10 records and here in the pagination section it will show in the drop down 5 10 12 so user can navigate you uh, through this uh, selection let's declare here constructor and inside this constructor uh, let's write here private then user service here user service then user service so let's make it smaller and then create a function say post list here void here this dot uh, user service dot get all post and here dot subscribe right and then here response response smaller one response and here and here this dot post dot response this console dot log console dot log and we will check if the data is coming or not then we will send it to okay. and here ng on init ng on uh, ng on init we need to call this implement okay. and here we will call this post list so when the page will load it will be fetched automatically without any click or something like that so now let's do one thing let's run the server here let's check if the data is coming or not yes the data is coming as you can see here so this data we will display in our this html file okay but at least you can see the data is coming perfectly here right so now let's go here in its html file and then delete and div class name class name oh it's not real just so it will be simply class class I switch between React JS and Angular, so that's why sometimes I get confused. So container and inside this, let's take table and class table here, Angular class, class table, and then here the head, then th, th. So first will be ID, and second one will be title. And below here let's write here T body and then inside T body there will be TR so here we will run ng4 so we will write here ng4 ng4 let post of post okay let post of post Oops. here and then there will be two td 
td td close and then td and td close so here we will write post dot title post dot tit title id okay the first one is post dot id and second one is post dot title title and yes this is our output so as you can see there are around 100 posts what we want we want a pagination here below okay here one two three four five something like that so we need pagination here so now let's work ahead let's go to this function uh, this app.ts file and let's create a function here so here we will write on table data change the event and whatever event will be so the page number will be stored here okay and finally it will show the post list and another one and we will create another function on table side chain event then table side event or target or value the starting page will be one and then whole list will show that so you will understand when we will implement this in our uh, app.html file here now here we will write five cent then paginate paginate column and here and inside this we will pass this parameter so the parameter is items per page that we have declared before in the ts file so table size current page then this page total items then called okay so and here let's put it sample and here let's write here let i index and after this table we will write pagination so let's create here one div and inside this we will paste page pagination controls then previous next and whatever user will be clicking on so if you refresh and check then you can see the data is displaying here so whenever how fast it is you can see so whenever you are clicking the page is changing here you can see right so next previous is also there so this one is because of pagination module that we installed right it's super fast you can see and if you see in the code we have used here another function on table side change okay on table data change this one is working on uh, this one okay on table change so if we want to display here also we can place this and here in the top let's put here select box okay select select and then on change on change then actually it will be change only not on change change since it's an event so we have to wrap this with this one so when user will change it will be here on table side chain that means this function will fire here on table side chain here okay so and then here option option and option function. so let's write here ng4 star ng4 equals to let size of this table size okay And here the option value we will pass size so now we have two types of pagination this one is first and this one you can also paginate through this at the time how many articles you want to display so either you can show from there or you can paginate through this so guys hope this is useful you can use this in your project so still you have not subscribed then please subscribe my channel and uh, press bell button so that when i do a new video it reaches to your house
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग बाय बाय